What's good, Raw Middle School community? It is Mr. Dix After Dark. We are here late night on a Tuesday. We are finishing up the Shamrock News. I just wanted to give a shout out to my Shamrock News members. We had kids staying after school until like 6 p.m. tonight to finish up some of these segments. We've only had like two or three days of class because this class meets every other day and to be able to put together a 20 plus minute episode in the week one on only just a couple days with the first day being me talking all the time. So I'm really impressed with that. I just want to let you know that we have a lot of people who work really, really hard on the news and when we are watching it on Wednesdays, it's going to be really important that you are listening, not only to respect the time, effort, and commitment that our Shamrock News members are making, but also you're going to want to know what's going on and know all the important information you're going to need to be successful or to have fun at Route Middle School. One of the best things about the Shamrock News is our introduction and I wanted to make sure that everybody had the introduction video that they needed and with some people being absent and some people not necessarily liking their videos we're gonna hold off on our season 9 introduction real quick so when we start the episode today we're actually gonna watch the introduction video for all eight previous seasons at the exact same time it's gonna be wild but it's gonna be pretty dope so thank you for tuning in thank you for paying attention thank you for watching and Shamrock News members thank you for making it happen we are hitting the ground running episode 2 and we are gonna just lock it in and get this thing going so peace out we'll see y'all later Holla! Middle school where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool truly learn with the common goal we are safe respectful and responsible home to math minds some of the best readers musicians athletes scholars and web leaders lots happening in this wonderful place and there's only one way to stay up to date so if you got a case of the sandbox blues hit the youtube check the shamrock news what's going on what's going on what's going on what's going on not a thing that we cannot do growth mindset it's the shamrock news what's going on what's going on what's going on what's going on so if you got a case of the sandbox blues hit the youtube check the shamrock news what's going on what's going on what's going on what's going on not a thing that we cannot do growth mindset it's the shamrock news what's going on what's going on what's going on what's going on Wow, guys, it's here. It's finally here. What's here? A spaceship? No. Episode 1 of the Season 9 Shamrock News. Whoa, it is here. That means school has started, even though we already knew that. Yes, Elizabeth. That means school has started. Anyway. Hey, Raw Shamrocks. I'm Emma, a.k.a. I should inherit 10% of Jeff Bezos' money for literally no reason. And I'm Elizabeth, and don't give her any money. And anyway, we're going to start today's show with an announcement for, from our upcoming, upcoming cross-country season. It's that wonderful time of year again. The air is getting cooler, the leaves are changing colors, and pumpkin spice is infiltrating all our beverages and, and food products. Cross-country officially starts on Monday, September 19th, 2022. Right after school in the Rowell Middle School gym, practices are from 4.20 to 5.30 p.m. If you need to take out TV bus home, then the transportation will be provided. Cross country is a great way to make new friends and also an opportunity to make goals for yourself. And a spectacular chance to get in shape. We'll be running, doing push-ups, practicing wall sits, playing games like sharks and minnows and capture the flag. And most importantly, competing in meets against their personal best and other schools. If you're interested in hanging out with Mr. Hayes and Mr. Dix after school and participating in a positive team environment, then cross country is the place for you to be. If you're interested in signing up, see Mr. Hayes in room 338 or Mr. Dix in 225. Hey Mr. Dix, I want to sign up for cross country. That sounds awesome. I got your form right here. Thanks, Cash. Thank you. Speaking of 
cross country, you'll need to have a physical in order to participate. Where can you get one? Well, one place you can get a physical is Milwaukee High School Health and Wellness Center. The Milwaukee High School and Wellness Center is an amazing free resource within the North Black Miss community. The Health and Wellness Center is full service medical factory. When you walk in, there's a waiting room. <coughs> and sitting on the counter, there are free supplies for families to take, like toothbrushes, toothpaste, Finman hygiene products, chapstick, and more. They also have free COVID tests. There are multiple medical professionals on the site. It is an actual doctor's office. They'll bring you into a room and take your blood pressure, height, and weight. The Milwaukee High School Health and Wellness Center is completely free for North Clackamas students. They do sports, physicals, they can look at six students, they do blood work. The center also has dental office where they can do free salience, cleaning, and screenings. If anybody needs more medical attention, they will follow you to, to different dentists and work within your family's budget. There's also some mental health resources at the center as well. On top of that, there's a food pantry that can be accessed by anybody in the district. Families can come in and grocery shop through the pantry for food they need. If you're interested in setting up a free appointment at the Milwaukee Healthcare and Wellness Center, go to the website. It's linked in our Val Middle School big link on social media and our Val Hub. Milwaukee High School Health and Wellness Center average appointment is about 30 minutes long. They also do same day appointments. So sign up or give them a call. This is gonna be a great resource in the North Clackamas community and we want everybody in our building to know about it. If you have any other questions, see Mr. Haley and he will help you answer those questions or set up an appointment. Yay! Yay! Last week, the 8th grade web leaders welcomed our newest group of 6th graders into our Shamrock School. Let's take a look at some highlights. I am so excited to meet our new sixth graders. So the first one is, um, how are you feeling about the incoming sixth graders? How am I year? feeling? I'm jazz. Can't you tell? Woo! How do you feel about the incoming sixth graders this year? I am very excited about the incoming sixth graders. I don't know if you saw how many of them there are, but there's a ton, and I'm excited to have them in the school. Hi, my name is Ryan, and I chose to be a web leader because my six, uh, my sister is an incoming sixth grader, and I wanted to be here to support her. It, it feels kind of weird to be back after being gone all summer, but I'm I'm really excited to be back and welcome these sixth graders into Rao because Rao's fun. Woo! Go sixth graders! Uh, because I wanted to greet my little brother who's coming here to Rao and to show him that Rao's not scary. To be a web because my brother's going into sixth grade and I'm a very outgoing person. Uh, why did you choose to become a web leader? to meet the sixth graders. Um, I want to help them because you know what it's like to be a sixth grader. You need some help. Um, 
I feel pretty good about it. Um, it's interesting. Definitely different than elementary. Um, I feel like it's comfortable, basically. I feel like it's better than my elementary school, but I hope there's less drama there, here, more than elementary, but mostly I feel like I will make new friends here, just not one, but many more. And it's a completely safe place, as I noticed. Also. Uh, so far, uh, the school is pretty nice. It's huge. Not it's pretty big. I haven't seen the whole school, so I don't know how big everything is, but so far it's pretty nice. Um, it is very nice. My name is Anthony. I like it a lot. Um, it's a lot bigger than my old school, and I like it a lot. The school is really great. I like it. Um, it's fun. I still don't... It just feels like a tour, though. <laughs> Again. I don't know, it's weird. But it's fun. We got a lot of new teachers at Round Middle School this year, and we would like to welcome some of them with our first edition of our new teacher introductions. Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Avalon. I teach seventh grade social studies, and one thing that you should know about me is I'm a huge anime nerd. Hi, uh, I'm Mr. Highland. I'm the new behavioral specialist, and uh, I like to play basketball. Hi, I'm Miss Malmrose, and I'm teaching eighth grade science. And something to know about me is I love dogs. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Matthews, and I like tea, and I teach math. Hi, I'm Ms. Reynolds. I teach uh, health, and one interesting thing about me is that I wake up at 4 a.m. to exercise. Hi, my name is Mrs. Rubin. I teach language arts, eighth grade, and one thing you should know about me is I love being outside. Hi, my name is Ryan DeHaven, and I teach choir and one beginning band class at Round Middle School. One interesting thing about me is that I just love pasta. It's the best thing in the world, what can I say? Some people how their first week of school went. We're here with Mr. Dix. How has your first day week of school been going? My first week has been awesome. The kids are great. I love our new lanyard system. I love the technology policies. I'm just a big fan of all the high expectations that we have for all of our students to achieve. Thank you. Ryden, how has your first week of school been going? Good but boring. You heard it from Ryden. So, how has your first week of school been? It's been pretty good. It's been pretty good as well. Uh, pretty good. So, it's been pretty good. <laughs> how was your guys' first week of school? It was good. It was good. Yep. So, how has your first week of school been? It's, it's, been, um, so it's been really good. Um, school's been very welcoming. It's been pretty chill. It's nice. How has your first week of school been? Good. Good. That's it, good? Yeah. The first week has been great. I think, uh, you know, the eighth graders is really being leaders and uh, everybody else is following suit, so it's dope. I got some too. I'm sorry, Mr. Gray, but your room is so hot. <laughs> so how's your first week of school been? Great. Amazing! So how has your first week of school been? Uh, it's been good. Made new friends and, uh, well, Found out that a lot of classes can be boring. So, how has your first week of school been? Fine. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good! Matthew, yeah. BFF, how has your first week of school been? Uh, it's been great. I have a lot of classes for my friends and I'm enjoying my electives. That's so fun. Picture day is right around the corner. Make sure you're coming through with a smile.
Oh, Shamrock, so picture day is coming up very soon on September 22nd, Thursday. We'll be taking pictures in our science classes. Packets will be handed out in your homeroom tomorrow. In your packet, there will be information on how to purchase your Dorian photo packets online. You can order photos online now and up to four days after picture day. The company does recommend that, that you don't wear clothing with lots of logos on them as they don't photograph well. Even if you don't purchase pictures, this photo will be your synergy photo for the year and your photo in the yearbook. So get them smiles ready, you're out. Our recently retired teacher, Mr. Slack, will be taking 8th grade students on Washington, D.C. and New York City trip on June of 2023. There is an upcoming inf informational meeting. <laughs> Every year for the past gazillion years, our wonderful recently retired teacher, Mr. Slack, has taken a group of students to Washington, D.C. and New York City. It's an awesome vacation where you get to see awesome places like the Washington Monument. The Lincoln Memorial. The Statue of Liberty. And so much more. It's a fun-filled adventure with Mr. Slack, other adult chaperones, and your fellow 8th grade friends. If you're interested in joining the journey, there's a family meeting on Tuesday, October 4th at 6 p.m. We ask that you and your concerned adults join us in the library so that you can gather all the important information. And so that you can ask any questions you may have. We look forward to vibing with you in our nation's capital and the city that never sleeps. See you on Tuesday, October 4th. One of our favorite segments from the past few years has been It's Lit. We're going to kickstart this back up as we recommend our first book of the year. Anywhere you go, anywhere you look, you can find me on the low with my nose in a book. Turning through the pages, reading through the script, about to hit a million words. Yeah, it's lit, 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 lit. Said it's lit, 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 lit. Yeah, it's lit, 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 lit. Hi, um, my name is Haley, and I recommend the, the book Spin by The Ruin Kills. <laughs> the genre is murder mystery because what would life be without murder mysteries? Uh, it's about this person that gets murdered. The person's friends have to solve it because the police are stupid and the person's fandom will stop at nothing for answers. It's kind of fun, especially if you read it at night, to scare yourself. Um, I recommend this book to anyone who likes mysteries and horror. Thanks for joining us, Val Shamrocks! It's great to be back. See you next week on the Shamrock News. Shame same Shamrock, Shamrock time, same, same Shamrock, Shamrock place. place. Bye! Who do you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Uh, I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to Misty Marcello for being amazing. Who, who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out? I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to the awesome Miss Sierra who has been busting her butt all year in room 102. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to uh, CJ. He's nice, he's fun. Probably like my only real good friend, too. Only good friend, besides Eric. I'd like to give a big uh, Shamrock shout out to all the eighth graders out there. I miss you guys. I love you. I love you. Nice yeah. guy, too, is okay. Enzo, I love you. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to Enzo. Hi, Ms. Doyle. Who would you want to give a Shamrock shout out to? 
I need to give a Shamrock shout out to everybody who's been getting to class on time. The halls are looking great. Let's keep it up. On time all the time. Rao, we got this. Who give a Shamrock this. shout out to? Uh, Enzo, Ryder, and Jordan. Who do you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Um, I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to uh, Mr. Highland for being a positive, positive role model for all the students coming in, hit the ground running as a new staff member. I love it. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? My name is Angel and I would like to give a Shamrock shout out to Alex and yeah. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Uh, to Kalia Anderson, she just graduated. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Um, Raymond. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Uh, Trendis and Connor. Right. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Evan Zavi and Lily. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Uh, Arvion Stevenson. Uh, if you see this, uh, yeah. Wow, it's here. It's finally here. What's here? A spaceship? Yes, Any I have. Anyway, hey Russia, hey Ru how hi, 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 and I'm Elizabeth, and don't give her any money. Wow, it's here. It's finally here. What's here? A spaceship? No. Ready? What's up? Okay, so first question is, how do you feel about the incoming sixth graders this year? I'm excited. I think we, uh, you know, I think we really set the tone, but that started with the eighth graders, the web leaders, you know what I'm saying? Y'all really held it down for the team, man. So uh, we appreciate y'all. The sixth graders are going to be great because of y'all. No more questions. No more questions. It's that one. Oh, wait. And it, it's that wonderful time of year again. The air is getting cooler. Uh, well, and participating in a positive team environment, then cross team. Co 4K Ultra HD. I, I'll hold it. We're running out of time. I have to go ahead. We're running out of time. I'll hold it. I'll no, hold it. I'll hold it. Okay. Speed. Sonic speed. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me, Madison? Hello. All right, stop recording. Hi! <laughs> During a science class, you will be taking pictures or have your pictures be taken. I forgot my lunch. Oh my! Would you like to give a shame or shout out to anyone? Um, yeah, I'm gonna give one to Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Reese, who would you like to give a shame or shout out to? Uh, Alex Lugo? Because he's Alex Lugo. <laughs> 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 I messed that up. I didn't realize it was my cue. Sunshine.